Have you ever heard someone say, God knows my heart? Why do people say this? It's because they may not be doing the right thing, but they mean well. And there's a widespread belief that as long as a person has good intentions, God will overlook their mistakes. Is that correct though? The next time you hear someone say, God knows my heart, respond with, God knew Uzzah's heart too. Hosea 4.6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, not for lack of good intention, and not for lack of meaning well. Uzzah meant well when he reached out to stabilize the ark. But Numbers 4.15 says, They must not touch the holy things lest they die. Uzzah was destroyed for his lack of knowledge of the law of God, even though he had good intentions. Aaron had good intentions when he made the golden calf. The Bible tells us that he made the calf as part of a feast unto Yahweh. His good intention cost 3,000 men their lives that day. Nadab and Abihu went into the tabernacle to worship Yahweh and offer incense to him. God knew their hearts, but they violated the commandment that the source of the fire must be from the altar. If their good intentions didn't get them a pass, God is eternally the same and he shows no partiality, what makes you think you can ignore his laws and be treated any differently? One of the last things Moses said to the Israelites before he died was in Deuteronomy 30:15. He said, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of Yahweh your God that I command you today, by loving Yahweh your God, by walking in his ways, by keeping his commandments, his statutes, his rules, and his laws, then you will live and multiply, and Yahweh your God will bless you. But if your heart turns away and you will not hear, but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you will surely perish. And the back of the New Testament confirms this in 1 John 3, 7. It says, Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. And whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. It's not the one who means well who is righteous, but the one who does well. Obedience is better than sacrifice.